Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jacob again with NextGenerationAcoustics.com. And I'm coming at you guys with a, what I hope is a very helpful video today. And it's room correction software or acoustic treatment. Which one do I need? Which one is better? Do I need both? Let's dive into it. So first, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is what room correction software is and what it does. It's basically going to add a filter uh, to, or EQ curve to your sound coming out of your speakers. So leads me to the question of the day, which is, do I need room correction software if I have acoustic treatment? Or do I need acoustic treatment if I have room correction software so you'd be surprised that this is actually a common question as soon as i type in do i need acoustic treatment if i have room correction software boom right up on uh what used to be known as gear sluts now gear space basically it's a whole thread room treatment or sonar works for my rest less than ideal room and the guy is converting a bedroom into a studio and he's trying to figure out if he should treat it if he should add room correction software so i was working with a consultation customer when the text came through he said after a week of pain and suffering today's the day my new monitors are finally delivered to their nest and he tells the uh, specific specs and he says they're popular among other reasons because you can quote skip acoustic treatment due to their smart system of measuring the room and they just uh, have like a room correction software in the monitoring speakers now I've used speakers with room correction software and they're not a fix for acoustic treatment. If you need your room treated, if you have frequencies in the room that are uh, building up in certain areas, you can try to mask the problem, but it's not going to solve the problem. Let's go into when it is best to use room correction software okay and that's gonna be ironically first off when you have no treatment yet for your room and why i would recommend it then and it's because it's gonna be better than nothing if you have no treatment at all having a room correction software can at least be beneficial somewhat and help you possibly get a better mix or a better reference the next is going to be if you move between spaces or studios often and the reason is because if you're mixing in different rooms or you're listening in different rooms or you're always in different studios they all have different responses and different ways that it sounds in each space so if you're using some type of correction software between each space it can kind of make you have some type of level of consistency between the different spaces that you work in third is going to be if you can only mix using headphones now there's like a lot of correction softwares that will know the frequency response on your headphones if they have peaks and nulls and try to adjust and make them flat specifically i, rec I personally i like learning a pair of headphones and knowing how that translates and then maybe having one or two pairs that you switch back and forth to and top of a good room and having different ways to reference that's always going to be best but if you're only using headphones and you have no access to a treated room or a good room then a room correction software can kind of help you get maybe some type of consistency or controllable variable when it comes to that and last but not least number four is when your room is less than ideal if it's treated but let's say it's not following all the principles of acoustics that it needs to let's say that some stuff's off center you might have decay times or you might have a window in a less than optimum spot and you can't put a panel there or you might have a corner where you can't put a bass trap and it's causing build up so you might have part of the room treated optimally but the rest is not so you need a room correction software to kind of make up for the weak points that you have in your space until you can get to an accurate uh, mixing room type scenario so my specific opinion and it seems to be the industry consensus on room correction software 
in your speakers or in your DAW and using it. It says EQ can help with room issues, but it can't fix them completely. The reasons for it simple, room colors the sound. These reflections can cause time-based artifacts. Some frequencies decay more slowly than others. Some hang at certain pitches. These artifacts cause some frequencies to build up and some to be too loud, others to disappear. Speaker calibration changes the gain of different frequencies, but it can't fix these specific problems. So basically what you're doing is you're masking the issue, but you're not fixing the problem. It would be the equivalent of if you had a headache from dehydration, instead of drinking water, you're just taking Tylenol. So that's a good way to put it here. So let's go over why I think you should treat the room even if you're using room correction software. The reason being is you oftentimes want to use a combination of treating a room and adding room correction software in concert with one another to get the optimum results if you're going to do it. So even people who are proponents of using room correction software, oftentimes they end up turning away from it once they get the room scenario ideal. But if you're just starting out and you want to incorporate it into it in the very beginning, probably not necessarily a bad idea. So here is a Reddit article that I stumbled across where they do talk about having free trials of different room correction software. Sonarworks is one that is available. And this is on the audio engineering subreddit. Basically, there's someone saying that after they tried one of their mixes, it ended up sounding worse overall with the software. They think it's genius, but they just know that they're, uh, they already know their headphones and monitors too well, and they don't want to add more changeable variables into it. Then we have another person here saying they used it for a couple of years and it works really nice, but eventually they stopped using it because they got used to the room and now they feel like the original sound is better. and you might need it to help you in the beginning until you learn your room. You can, I've seen stuff where some people were talking about listening to music back through the room correction software to learn that. But that goes, if you're gonna do that, then you could do that in your mixing room from jump to begin with. So in final conclusion, I just like to say this, whatever you do with room correction software, it will help to get a balanced sound but it will not take care of your room's acoustics issues like echo and noise. Room treatment helps to reduce the echo and the noise, but it also helps to do better bass management. Hence, both is needed to get maximum results. So I hope that helps kind of uh, some different scenarios of when room correction software or speaker correction software is needed. Me personally, I think they could work best in concert with acoustic treatment for your space. But ideally, the best is going to be having a great sounding space, okay? I think you should still treat the room even if you're using room correction software. Because oftentimes it's going to be using a combination of, if, of some room treatment and room correction software if your room is less than ideal to dial it in. If you can get your space to be perfect through treatment, I would just go with nothing. So even if you hear that what, how they use room correction software, which they do, they're proponents of it and they support using it in certain scenarios, they're already in rooms that have less than one second decay time that are already treated. And then they're adding the room correction software as a icing on the cake measure at the very end to dial it in perfectly. So. Hope that helps. If you'd like to know how to best go about getting the best starting point for your room, if you have no acoustic treatment at all and you're interested in it, feel free to hit up our room analysis form. I'll be happy to answer any questions and get back to you with a great room treatment solution that could really help out. You may not even need to use a room correction software if you can get the room dialed in perfectly and you already have a good setup to begin with. Now, if you would like a personal consultation with me, feel free to click the link below and we can do a FaceTime Zoom chat and go over specifically what you need 
for your space to get it dialed in and I'll be happy to help you out and go from there. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will talk to you again really soon. Peace. And just for everybody who stuck around with me to the very end, here's your reward, the ship post of the day. And this one is learning to mix, offering mix lessons, producer. Come on, y'all know this is way too many of y'all. See it all the time. How many YouTube mixing advertisement people are there gonna be before we have a Ty Lopez of the mixing industry scammer? <sighs> getting crazy out there y'all keep it real i'll talk to y'all again really soon hopefully this helps make sure to subscribe to the channel look forward to talking to y'all again very soon peace